What's going on fells, it's Handsome Poe here, and for today's video, I'm going to give you guys a complete guide on how to get both the RPG and the Sigma Gold, which will get you Diamond Rocket Launchers. If you guys like the video, remember to like and subscribe, because this video took a lot of effort to make. And now, let's get on to the commentary. So first off, in order for you guys to level up your Sigma or your RPG, I would highly recommend you guys wait for a double XP event or use all your double weapon XP tokens because it's way easier to level up your gun when there's double XP. So what you, you, what you want to do for the Sigma is I did, did it passively. I was using a regular weapon in game and I used the Sigma to just to shoot down UAVs, counter, counter UAVs, anything basically, which was in the air. For the RPG, which is way better at killing things than shooting down score streaks, I would highly recommend leveling it up in either zombies or hardcore face-off. You're gonna hear me you you guys are gonna hear me mention hardcore face-off a lot because it is the mode that saved me with the RPGs. It was my saving grace. Once you've had both of your RPGs leveled up, which is what I would do because you don't want to start getting camos for an RPG or the Sigma when it's a low level because you're gonna end up missing out on doing a lot of camos at once because the double kill challenge is all the way at the end at level 30 compared to the two kill streaks which are I believe when the weapon like level 8 so I'm gonna start out with the Sigma and in order for you get to get kills with the Sigma I would highly recommend playing hardcore face-off or hardcore face-off 6v6 which is in right now and in this game mode, it's going to be a lot of trouble, but you got to hope that people don't use Flag Jacket, because Flag Jacket it just destroys the gun's functionality, because you can't get one shot, one kills. But the maps I would highly recommend playing are ICBM, KGB, U-Bahn, and Game Show. Any other maps, such as Amsterdam, do not play, because it's not very good for the RPG. I mean the Sigma. There are certain spots you want to be with the Sigma on KGB. You want to be on either the top balcony or running around through the little hallways on the left side. On ICBM, you can camp on the little platform in the middle of the map, or you can run around the sides because you catch a lot of people off guard from when they spawn. On Yubon, what I would do is right at the beginning of the game, to go all the way to the left or to the right and just shoot rockets down the little uh, side paths because that usually guarantees a double kill each time. And on game show, run around into the little hallways on the right side of the map or you can rush all the way on the left or go into the middle, the exact middle of the map where you can like jump over a little wall and go into it. I know a lot of people say Nuketown is really good for the launcher challenges, but for me, I had very little success in Nuketown, so I'm really not really going to recommend it. I'd rather you guys re much rather play Hardcore Faceoff. Yeah, I think it's the best mode for these ro these rocket launchers. And now that ends the time for uh, kills with the Sigma. Now I'm going to go on to how to get score streaks, and that's pretty self 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 explanatory with the Sigma because it is a lock on launcher so you can either just shoot down a bunch of uavs that gets you done with all the aerial score streaks and all the three score streaks in one game but what you're left with is the ground score streaks and what i did for that is i kind of grinded uh shooting down sentry turns on like regular game modes but i wouldn't do that what i would do is to go into fire team dirty bomb or go into crossroads assault and what i would do is shoot down all the cars people are driving so what I did is went to Fire Team Dirty Bomb and just popped my parachute and I started shooting down cars that people were driving because you could just lock onto them. But what I learned with the RPG is that you can go to Crossroads Assault and go to Armada or the new map Collateral or Crossroads and shoot down the tanks, the bikes, the snowmobiles, etc. And that gets you really easy um, uh, ground score street kills. And here's my reaction to getting the Sigma Gold, by the way. In the Karuda. <laughs> Ready 
Deactive contamination is spreading and available on your grid. Enemy counter spy plane inbound. Let's go! Finally! <laughs> Finally! Oh, cool, more poop. That's what I have to do. <laughs> Let's go. Finally! Now let's move on to the RPG. And the kills for the RPG were really easy. I did the same thing as I did with the Sigma, but this time I was in face off 6v6 hardcore, which made it way easier to get my two kill streaks and double kills. I did that in, I'd say, like an hour, probably less, actually. And what I did is the same thing with the Sigma. I just ran around on ICBM. I camped the top. I went down below and KGB as well. And game show. Game show was actually really good because I was getting lucky on people not running Flak Jacket, which was a blessing. Now let's move on to the RPG getting score streaks, which is actually really a grind. It's pretty tough. So what I did is I went to combined arms assault again and i mainly played collateral and crossroads to try to get the three score streaks in one game and what i would do is just rush rush the zone in the first in the beginning of the game because a lot of people are using cars in the beginning of the game so that's a good time to get your three your three uh things in one game or you could just camp it out and try to just snipe uh score streaks or aerial score streaks which i'll get to Now for aerial score streaks, and this was really hard. What I'd recommend, guys, is shooting down care packages on, let's say, Nuketown or uh, Hijack 24-7. I had a lot of luck with that. Or you could stay in Combined Arms to just shoot down, um, like, Attack Choppers, UAVs, which I'll get to. I would not shoot down Counter UAVs because it took, they could take two shots to kill. So for UAVs, what I did, I shot, I was very lucky. I shot down like four in one game on Hijack 24 seven to get my RPG gold. And what you would do, you have to get under the arc, under the UAV or like really far from it and just put the RPG a certain amount away and just pray that you hit it. I don't really have a select strategy how to hit the UAVs. You just get lucky with them sometimes. And I got lucky with about nine UAVs. I hit a, I hit a good amount. But what I'd really aim for is hope people run care packages in your match and try to hit them. I really like sold on that because I missed a lot of care packages when I should have hit them. But then I got lucky with UAVs, so it all works out. You could also shoot down attack choppers. That counts too. So otherwise, here's my reaction to getting the RPG. I got it! I hit another one just so I hit another one! I hit another spy plane. Why is this being so... Bro, I have no idea what I'm doing. Can you see spy planes, bro? I'm just destroying them. Kobe! Multiple enemy spy plane contacts. Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ, I'm I got it! Me. I got it! Oh my god, let's Jesus go! Christ, I'm I sniped it! I sniped it! Oh my god! I didn't, I didn't look at it. I, I, I just... I just sniped it. Let's go, baby! RPG gold! Let's this go! Got destroyed. Oh my god, that was, that was awesome.